I never driven one of these. Can't figure out how to start this thing. This particular section here, it sank. And I can't move it, and now the container's stuck right here. We're looking now at a sweet truck, 1690-35. I think we should make a new uh, video series here called Mark Goes Buying Big Machines. Big, big, big forklift. We're taking delivery of the two JCBs now. It's pretty exciting. Can't figure out how to start this thing, but it turns out there's an imm immobilization code which is written in the window. So now I'm waiting for 15 minutes for the immobilization code to uh, reset. And then hopefully we're gonna be able to turn this on. It also had a flat battery, so I had to get a starter pack for this. And then the starter pack was flat. <laughs> Back to discharging it, get all fast. 50 amperes going straight in there right now. So I managed to get them off. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to film, but here they are. They just need to be tidied up a little bit cleaned, inspected and all that, and then basically they should be good for the project in Senegal. This has become winter by the way, snow has fallen. I jacked up both the JCBs, see if there were any problems with hydraulics, and what we've discovered here is that um, this particular section here, it sank, which means that this particular hydraulic cylinder here is leaking somewhere. When we send these to Senegal, that's when we're really going to fix it. So the chains have arrived, which means that I can try and lift one of the containers. Ow! Yeah, it starts! automatic stabilization thing is kicked in and I can't move it and now the container is stuck right here. The good news is can definitely lift it. There's a system inside that's protecting it from lifting past a certain angle and it basically stops the hydraulics so right now I can't put it down. Okay we're gonna go and try and figure out how to disable this system. All right let's see why. I can't put it down. Ah. All right so I disable it by lifting in the jack. Disable everything in now all the hydraulics are disabled. I think the lesson learned here is that we have to disable the safety features or make them less sensitive and we probably have to use forks even though we can quite easily carry it. That's something to look into. We're looking now at a sweet truck 1690-35 for 34,000 euros. And this is a forklift that can lift 16 tons up to 5 meters. We need this to be able to stack containers, three containers high. Big, big, big forklift. In this case here I'm looking for a, a fork, I think it's from 1999. It's got 17,000 hours on the clock. These kind of machines can easily have 30,000 hours, 40,000 hours. You think about it, things like who's the owner? So in this case here, this is a small business that just didn't have enough use of a forklift that can lift 16 tons. So this is a really good sign. He said they've been serviced by Caravan, but it's a reputable company. They've been servicing for the last few years, so that's also a good thing. The machine itself is a good brand, so it's made by a Swedish company, so that's also good for spare parts. I always asked for the motor to be cold, not started at all. So the first thing I do is to check the motor, see if it's nice and cold. How does it start? It's preheat to work. Is it firing evenly on the oil system the cylinders? Is there a specific kind of smoke coming out of it? You know, it runs with smoke that disappears after a while. It's turbocharged functioning. And then you just start going around the machines, looking at the general things like other hydraulics, in this case, the hydraulics, the hydraulics working, or the leaks of the hydraulics. Can we take the fork to the bottom, to the top position, check if it moves, check if it drives, see if we can lift something, obviously to see whether or not it functions on the load. By having these kind of rules here for uh, machine buying, you end up with, with not a bad machine, you know, or maybe we've been lucky, but uh, some basic rules that apply to buying cars, lorries, trucks, forklifts, whatever. We have arrived and we're ready for action. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Come on, let's go. So it looks pretty good. Maybe something with a third gear, but 
price-wise, it's what it is. We're gonna go ahead and buy it on a successful trip. We are taking delivery of our first forklift ever, our own. We rented plenty of them before, but this is the first one we own. Are you happy? 